And now, the general weather around Alaska. Starting out with the hazardous weather graphic, we've got a couple of warning areas on here. High wind warning out until 10 p.m. this evening for the higher elevations, or actually East Anchorage there. For gusts of 70 miles per hour, high wind warning and advisories out for the Alaska range for tonight for winds gusting 40 to 70 miles an hour. And then on the southern Kenai Peninsula, that's a flood watch out tonight for the mountains of the southern Kenai Peninsula possible flooding and also for the Susitna Valley up here, uh, possible flooding as well with a high or a flood watch remaining out there and also up here over the Western Brooks Range down into the Kobuk Valley, Noatak Valley areas and the Western Koyukuk Valley, a flood watch remains there as well for possible flooding conditions due to the heavy rains and a winter weather advisory out until 10 p.m. this evening for the Western Brooks Range for winter weather. And from there, looks like uh, the Alaska fire season is effecti effectively over. Rapid growth, rapid fire growth is no longer expected. However, fuels are dry in the southeastern interior, Copper River Basin, and the Panhandle, so continue to take care with outdoor activities involving fire. And generally, cool and damp weather will continue for much of the state through the eastern interior and Panhandle will stay warmer and drier. And for the uh, fire danger for grass here, it's uh, reduced from what it was yesterday. Still looking at moderate here over the east side with some high fire dangers there in the Eastern Alaska range on southeastward into Canada and also kind of moderate here across much of the southeast coast. And then for uh, spruce, just a little bit of high fire danger here on the north side of the far Eastern Alaska range otherwise pretty low now across all the interior, and it's sort of elevated there over the southern southeast coast where it's been warm and dry for days in a row now. And from there, looking at satellite imagery, here's a big mass of clouds, a front right through here, the cold air coming southward out over the Bering Sea, and the very warm air coming northward around a big area, upper high pressure, with uh, temperatures well into the 80s over northwest Canada, keeping the panhandle about the same. Uh, light winds, sunshine, temperatures in the 70s to lower 80s in the south, and a little cooler up to the north, but still pretty nice there. And uh, again, this front edging eastward, that's what's bringing the heavy rain and uh, heavy wind into uh, south central Alaska, up into the Susitna Valley. Actually, moderate rain all the way up into the Koyukuk Valley to the Brooks Range this afternoon. And a breaking out, or less of that here now along the west coast. Another big storm coming into the western Bering Sea. You can see quite an impressive cloud shield associated with that as it comes eastward there into the western Aleutians. And the forecast for tonight, this front slowly pushing eastward here will uh, keep the strong winds and rain heavy at times going across southern Alaska all the way up into the Brooks Range with uh, precipitation right out to the Arctic coast tonight. It stays dry, but over a smaller area, the east side here, eastern interior, but it will stay dry over the southeast coast. Lighter winds and maybe a few breaks here tonight over the uh, southwest interior, but another trough here swinging down around the low center, tracking northward there into the Western Brooks Range will bring an enhanced area of rain and showers over the Yukon Delta, right up across the Seward Peninsula. And out to the west here, there's that next system bringing gale force winds and rain eastward across Adak and Atka with uh, that pattern extending all the way out to the Komodorsky Islands. For tomorrow, that front advances eastward with good gale force winds coming in toward the eastern Aleutians, Perbloff Islands, along with uh, some good solid rain that'll extend up toward St. Matthew Island and down to Nikolsky and then back to the west, windy, wet conditions again over all of the southwest Bering Sea and the western Aleutians. And an upper level trough swinging through brings precipitation all the way to the border and maybe a little beyond tomorrow here, extending from the eastern North Gulf Coast. Some rain should move into Yakutat and look for showers to end over Cook Inlet from southwest to northeast. It might take the entire day for that to end over northern Cook Inlet, definitely for the, or the Manuska Valley, drying for the Susitna Valley, high pressure building in here for Friday. So look for partly sunny skies for the uh, Yukon-Kuskokwim Delta, Bristol Bay, mostly sunny, Kodiak Island, 
and increasing sunshine over southern Cook Inlet with uh, much lighter winds tomorrow than what we saw today. So uh, pretty gusty winds here with a tighter gradient there as that active low kicks off in toward the Mackenzie Delta area. And so looking at some mixed precipitation chances for the Arctic coast. And warm and dry for the pan. It will highs tomorrow, upper 70s, maybe lower 80s over the southern southeast coast and 65 to 74 up to the north. And then we'll look uh, for Saturday, first day of the weekend. This front advances eastward, starts to weaken as it uh, rams into this area of high pressure with most of the flow caught up in the southerly winds here, carrying moisture and rainfall all the way up almost to the northwest coast, definitely across the Seward Peninsula. Gusty winds, rain, Yukon Cusquam Delta, back down toward the Alaska Peninsula into the eastern Aleutians. Windy and showery for all of the Bering Sea and out westward there, beginning to improve a little bit over the western Aleutians. High pressure here building in and shifting eastward. That'll make for a mostly sunny day here for uh, areas from the Alaska Range eastward into the Yukon there and northward into the interior. So a very nice day with light winds coming up for Saturday over a good portion of the central and eastern interior. No change for the southeast coast. Maybe some rain and snow showers possible for the eastern Arctic coast. And then for Sunday, this front moving very slowly again with most of the push up to the north. That brings another extended period of rain here from the eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, all up across the western interior to the western Arctic coast. Gusty winds, rain heavy at times, Seward Peninsula at St. Lawrence Island, southern slopes of the western Brooks Range with uh, lighter amounts of precipitation trying to push in toward western Cook Inlet. So look for some increasing clouds for the Kenai Peninsula becoming cloudy in the afternoon, but staying mostly sunny and dry with light winds, light variable winds from the North Gulf Coast, actually the Gulf of Alaska, all the way up to the Eastern Arctic coast and stays warm and dry over the Panhandle through the weekend, probably even Monday as well. And for the lows tonight, 30s from the Brooks Range to the Arctic coast, 30s and 40s here in the west, mostly in the 40s, the lower 50s to the east, and the Bering Sea all in the 40s, 50s for the southeast coast. Highs tomorrow again near 70, wrangle out towards Sitka, Petersburg, Port, or, uh, Port Alexander, upper 70s to lower 80s, southern southeast coast, upper 60s to the north. Otherwise, look for highs 55 to 60 across southern Alaska. Lower to mid 60s over the extreme eastern interior, cooling into the 40s here into the uh, central part of the state out to the Bering Sea and 30s for the uh, western, sewer, or western north slope and warmer conditions, 52 for Arctic Village, 44 for Barter Island, 50s for the Aleutians. Lows in the 30s here north of the Brooks Range, actually south of the Brooks Range as well, a little cooler air coming in. We've got uh, 30s into the central interior, down into the northern Cuscombe Valley, and even the Susitna Valley dropping down toward 40, and 40s for the uh, south central Alaska area, and lower 50s over the northern Panhandle, mid 50s to the south. Highs still in the 70s over the southern southeast coast, otherwise 60s elsewhere, but uh, cooling down now even over the eastern interior areas with highs uh, 40s and 50s, most areas upper 50s, south central Alaska to Kodiak Island. Highs uh, up around 60 on Alaska, even ADAC, and then 40s and 30s for the North Slope and the Arctic coast. And for the six to 10 day outlook for temperatures, not much change staying warmest here, well above normal for Southern Alaska, Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island, Southeast coast areas with uh, temperatures even above normal all the way to the Arctic coast and a little above normal here for the Seward Peninsula from the Yukon Delta up to the Western Arctic coast. Precipitation wise, looking at uh, above normal precipitation up in the north, near normal through the central interior to Bristol Bay, and then showing up below normal now for the Kenai Peninsula and well below normal for the southeast coast.